Escaping Denver, Batch 2, Episode 5, The Voice. I'm on the rooftop again. I don't know about you, but I need fresh air when going through these messages. Crow came back. Named it Malanke. I know, a little on the nose, but I like the name. I want to thank you all for the emails that have been coming in because some of you picked up on something that I had totally missed. The wall carvings. I didn't really think anything of them. I guess I just assumed Tunnel Tarzan had made them. Like he was making a map or something. And as they were leaving the cavern, I didn't... You know what? Scratch that. I'm making excuses. I missed it because I, you know, missed it. There's a lot going on. This is why I asked for help. Because I could and can use some. Noah said the carvings almost look like letters. Well, that's kind of what they might be. What if they are runes? used by Norse and Germanic people before they took our alphabet, runes are great because they're like one part letter, one part hieroglyphic. So take this arrow that Noah mentioned. A quick search reveals that it's the T rune, but also a representation of the god Tyre. Now, a symbol that's usually associated with magic, which is cool, but that's not the weird part. Tyre, this god, lost his hand to a beast. Sound familiar? Here's what else. He's said to have been devoured by a monstrous dog, which this maze has an abundance of. Now, I'm not saying Noah is tired. What I am saying is that it's an incredibly weird coincidence and an already unbelievable story. So let's get back to it. Sarah's speeding off without Noah, who's back to crawling through vents. Why does she have to be so... <sighs> she... Uh, updated. She fucking left me. Drove off like bait so I could crawl in here and hide. I would have gone with her. She just doesn't get that we're in this together. I don't need her to be the hero. <sighs> I crawled for like 20 straight minutes. No clue where I might be, but some of the vents were on a pretty steep incline, so I think I'm higher than the cavern now. My eyes have adjusted to the dark, but it's not like there's anything to see. Endless vents with a hundred different turns. I couldn't make my way back even if I tried. Got rerouted by a few fans along the way. Still spinning and pumping in what smelt like fresh air, at least comparatively. Ah, oh, my knees are bruised as shit too. You know, I, I would not suggest vents as a way to travel. These vents are bigger than the ones up top. I can almost crouch them. Enough room for them to send a chupacabra at me. I honestly don't know what else I could do. Uh, I'm just going to keep crawling because these vents, oh, they have to lead somewhere, right? Shit, this might be my last message. I don't know how they're catching up. I'm punching it. I'm on the ramp that the soldier mentioned, the one that goes up. It's a spiral ramp that's the biggest I've ever seen. Easily 400 meters across the center. Hard to tell how high it is because it's so gradual, but, oh, shit. There hasn't been a way off the ramp yet. It's like it was built for the cavern, which is insane. I mean, this is great pyramids of Giza type shit. Impossible architecture. I don't understand how you can build something like this without anyone knowing. Oh, there's roads off the ramp now. I can take one. Now! Shit, 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 shit! Think a truck can bust through a door? Ah! Oh! Oh! 
stepped in at this time. <sighs> um, I'm now in a hallway. Feels like a hospital hallway, just bigger. Like, big enough to drive the truck through it, if the engine didn't die. <sighs> Doors are locked. The lights are all on. I just don't know if anybody's home. <sighs> oh, I have to move. She won't have gone far. Truck, clear. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, yes. Something to block the door with. Yes. Any second. You good? What? Are you good? What is that supposed to mean? Do you require medical attention? No, but you might if you tried to get in here. Good. If you don't need help, there's no need for us to open your cage. <laughs> Didn't you think it was weird that there's no door handle on your side of the door? No. <laughs> Did you even look to see what kind of table you blocked the door with? <laughs> Sir, I... Oh! I had clear instructions. Did I not? Yes, sir. You in there, little flower? I'm sorry for him. I told them all not to mess with you if they caught you. No need to hide. Nothing we can do to you from my here. Bulletproof. And if we wanted to open the door, we absolutely could. So you see, there's no need to be hiding. There she is. Hama. Huh. What now? You sit tight. We didn't exactly expect you to be alive when we brought you to this room, so we apologize for the lack of creature comfort. We'll be by in a few hours for turn down service. What do you want? You can't just leave me here. I can't? Well, I guess you can, but don't. What do you think the end game is? My leaving is a hell of a lot better for you than my stay. After we find your headless friend, and we will find him, it's game over for you two. Adventure coming to an end. Wait! Don't just walk away! Wait! Still going up. Not a world to report, but I've passed dozens of rooms. Sometimes I'm down low and at the bottom of the room. Sometimes I'm up high looking down. It's just, it's disorientating. I've noticed that the higher I crawl, the more lights are on, which I'm choosing to take as a positive. Like I'm reaching the upper levels. You know, I, I'm worried about Sarah, but I, I don't know what else to do. If I go back, assuming I can, but if I go back, wouldn't it ruin her sacrifice for me to get caught? You know, I think I owe it to her to move forward and live. If I live, maybe I can save him. Better chance of that happening than if I die. So forward I go. <sighs> if my general movement is upwards, I could even reach the surface. I mean, I somehow doubt that the collective would leave a vulnerability like an exhaust vent, but I really don't have a better plan. Up is good, down is bad. Up keeps going until I reach freedom. But going down, it eventually ends. I don't pop out in Asia, it just ends. Unless.
unless you buy the whole hollow earth theory. In which case, I have a bridge to sell you. Sarah is bad ass. All fast, all furious. She drove up that ramp like a race car driver, busted through glass, and even found herself an unlocked door. Too bad that it happened to be a holding cell or processing room. Still amazing. But whatever this space is, it's not where she should be. This would be a great time for her super strength to kick in. To rip open the door and start tossing soldiers around, but we haven't seen that side of Sarah since toward the end of Batch 1. Maybe it was just one of those moments you hear about, when a mother can lift a car to save her child, but in this case she was, you know, saving herself. And Noah. It feels like he's been in the vents for a long time, so I couldn't help myself and did a little ventilation investigation. Can ventilation hold an adult human? Yes, usually. It's reinforced, it's metal, it's industrial grade, but what are the chances that these vents could eventually lead him out? Answer... Not good. Assuming that the vents reached the outside world and weren't attached to this super secret underground facility, they'd still have security in place to prevent things like raccoons from getting in. And that's if Noah can make it past all the spinning fans that are bringing in the fresh air. So no, I think his best chance is to pop out in one of these rooms he's been passing and try to make a run for it. Trapped again. Third cell so far in this hellish experience, but I got out of the first two, so I'm not panicking. Yet. Well, it's bigger than the previous ones. Big enough to walk around, stretch my arms, but it is sparse. Only two metal tables in an otherwise empty white room. Clearly they thought we'd be... Who are you talking to in there? My lawyer. Hmm. Funny. Very funny. Funniest corpse I ever met. What have I done to you? Really? What have they told you I've done? I don't understand any of this, but I really don't get the enjoyment that you're getting out of this. Are you all this fundamentally broken? Us? I saw what you did to the first team that came after you. What you did to the trapping unit after that. I was defending myself. Well, now so am I. I knew some of the people you killed. They were my friends. We're not just faceless soldiers. Oh, I don't plan on forgetting your face. If you live. I have so far. Better than I can say for your friends. (sighs) If there wasn't this glass between us. Well, there is. I can't wait to wipe that smile off your face. Big Daddy Palmer told you to stay put, like a good dog. I'm- Damn it, Ellen. He told you not to mess with her. You're going to get us both killed. She's locked in a room that's designed to keep in a hell of a lot worse than her. Take a walk. She's not going anywhere. But- Take. A. Walk. Uh... What? Are we done? Oh, I wanted to hear all about what you're going to do. I wouldn't smile. You're in for hell. Another dead end. The van still continues on, but there's a fan in between, and I don't want to become lunch meat. This is like the tenth time this has happened. You know, I've run into a few legitimate dead ends, too, but... I've mostly been hindered by these stupid fans. The air is nice though. Almost feels like real fresh air. Not the step out of your cabin and breathe in the mountains kind of fresh, but good enough. I'm pretty filthy at this point. There's more spider webs than I thought possible in this deep underground, but I'm covered in them. So I stand corrected. Or rather, crouch corrected. (coughs) <coughs> oh, it's not so bad where I'm standing still, but it's dusty in here. If I move slow enough, the breeze gets it out of my way pretty quickly. But if I go too fast, I get trapped in this cloud of disgusting dust. It's suffocating. I'm working my way through it, though. 
this network of vents is incredibly vast and I hope I'm heading in the right direction. Just following my gut at every intersection. These hollow earth people, they don't think the planet is truly hollow. They think there's another wild world down there. I think. Yeah, I'm not an expert, so. Stranger, you might want to do your own research, but from my understanding, it's a lost world type situation, dinosaurs, its own atmosphere, maybe its own civilizations. It's a whole deal, which would come in handy right now as a place to run to. Now, there was something comforting about heading downwards. It should have stressed me out to head away from freedom, but it felt right, safer, easier. The higher I climb right now, the closer I feel to danger. So, I might have been a little harsh earlier about the whole hollow earth people thing. Well, it's definitely not something I believe. It's really fun to think about. <sighs> Haven't seen anyone in over an hour. This is more unnerving than when they were peering in the window. They gotta still be watching me, right? This is a test or something, because they wouldn't have just left me. Unless they did just leave me. I mean, why wouldn't they? I'm locked in what is apparently a tamper-proof room, and why wouldn't they pour all their resources into catching Noah, who is on the run? I know, they have enough resources to catch Noah and monitor me. They probably have a whole room set up, NASA style, with a hundred screens of me. Unless... Ah! Oh, this is torture! They knew exactly what they were doing to me. Yep, they read my profile or whatever that says anxiety in about 12 places and thought, yeah, let's mess with her just a little bit more before we kill her. Alan, get back here! Face me, you coward! Hey! Well, it's dust. <coughs> this is what's gonna kill me. Dust lung. Oh, where was I? Yeah, I swear I was talking for about 20 minutes before I realized I wasn't recording. I wonder how often I've done that. Anyway, where was I? Hollow Earth. Yes, so, like I was saying, they bring up a ton of very valid points leaning heavily into mythology that is teeming with stories of creatures and beings emerging from caves and tunnel systems. I mean, man, we are living in the new mythology. We're the next generation of these stories. But like, the, the, the man-made version. The collective has brought these stories to life, and I don't doubt that somewhere in Colorado is an innocuous cave entrance that leads to all of this torture. Sarah. <coughs> you heard that, right? <coughs> oh, of course you did. It's Sarah. I knew she was alive. But, <coughs> but she said torture. <coughs> oh, I'm coming, Sarah. Alan, get back here. Face me, coward. Hey! Noah? Up here. Noah, you look terrible. Yeah, I have that effect. You heard? No, they locked me in here. Right? Okay, uh, update me later. Drag that table over here and let me help you up. You gonna be able to open that great thing? For once, this is something I've done before. Quick. All right, take my hand. Good. One, two, three, and up, okay? How did you find me? Well, you were literally yelling. We need to move. Others will have heard you. Yeah, there were a couple of guards watching me before and I don't know where they went off to. Here's the first voice I've heard in hours. So they might be ahead. We should whisper. I can't believe you made it up this far through the vents. Oh, I didn't have a choice. You were going up, so I went up too. That's two cells you've saved me from. Well, let's not make it a habit. Left or right? Left. 
How did they catch you? They didn't. I caught myself. Hid in a room that locks from the outside. Uh, a real James Bond move. Mm, not a shining moment. Then I tried to goad the soldiers into opening the door, but it didn't work. Instead, I just made another enemy. Yeah. I wish more friends was an option. You missing Malaki? Yeah. He was like a happy infusion to this hellscape. Little guy was a reminder that- Oh, fuck! Friend of yours? They know I'm gone. Let's boogie. Update over. You were a c And when did she call? Uh, she didn't call, sir. Finally, some action. I knew this bitch. If she didn't call, how do you know she wants to speak with me? <laughs> because I told him myself, Palmer. Now, I'm not a voice expert or anything, but that's her, right? It has to be the scary woman from the phone, the one who killed our ally. I was wondering when she'd poke back into our story. Now, we're going to dive further into that next episode, but in the meantime, let's talk about Noah. Not about his impeccable timing, but rather what he was saying about Hollow Earth. Now, I know I discounted this theory when he brought it up the last time, but doesn't it sound an awful lot like the situation they're in currently? A secret world beneath the Earth, monsters, mysteries. I mean, it has it all. Is it possible that this hollow earth theory is related specifically to this place? Nothing is off the table, so forgive my venturing deeper down the rabbit hole, but to quote Richard Dreyfus in Close Encounters, this means something. Thank you to the listeners and Curious Cast for being my companions on this adventure. You can reach me at escapingdenverpod at gmail.com or on Instagram at escapingdenver. And I'll be back in a couple of weeks with another episode of Escaping Denver. <laughs>